Hey guys, it is Amy the Relocated Tourist. It is Monday, March 16th. Let me adjust my camera. Um, how's everyone doing? So um, this is like my third or fourth time trying to film this because I keep venting. <laughs> And how what how does venting happen? Because we're I think we're all just we're just all high strung right now and I have been getting out running, I've been getting out walking. I'm like maybe I'll just get really ripped during this. <laughs> I've been watching a show about like prison and stuff and when before she goes in for prison time, she's like, That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go in and get ripped and that just some like my my head now I'm not probably because I'm just way too lazy. I have, I don't know what about you guys. I have like a ton of energy from like the minute I get up till about one or two o'clock. My mom's the same way. And then it just drops off like between two and four. I just either I want a nap. <laughs> I just want to sit there and stare at TV for a while. I just, I don't know how y'all do it with uh, your office jobs. That must be like the worst time of the day. I know when I had an office job, it was the hardest. Like that's when I had to stand up. I had tables where um, I worked for a scrapbook company and I would do scrapbook pages as part of my job and the kind of the creative aspect of it. And so I would, I had actually tables I could stand and work at, which is great because I felt like I had more energy. That was the time frame where I had to like crank up the tunes and be like, all right, <laughs> don't look at the time. But yeah, I've been feeling it definitely a lot lately with all this going on with Corona and everything because then I just, and every, are you guys like this too? Like if you have a sniffle or like one sneeze or like a dry throat, you're like, oh, I've got it. <laughs> like I'm so freaked out. <laughs> so I've been trying to like, we've been washing hands like crazy in this house. Um, poor Kira, she, she's still going into work and that just stinks. Um, I'm not going to say exactly where she works, but um yeah, it's, uh, I think I've talked about, I mean, she does, she works for the mouse, but she's, uh, they're still having them come in, which is just nerve wracking for us because we're worried she'll bring it home. Um, I stopped going to the park since last week, Wednesday, because I just didn't want to be part of the problem. I didn't want to bring it home. Um, I think we're all feeling that. And like, anytime we have to like run to the store, we're like, but how badly do we need it? <laughs> like, we're good on toilet paper, folks. I know you were concerned. <laughs> the toilet paper thing still cracks me up. It's not funny. It is and it's not, right? Like, we're all trying to, like, get through this. Um, this is a great time to subscribe to my channel. Go subscribe to everyone else on the planet because you're going to get bored. And with your your Hulu and your Netflix and your HBO and, like, you know, go go support an influencer. Uh, we, work, we work really hard and try to bring something of quality for people to talk about and um I just recently I got a phone call and we were talking about a common friend who is uh, a bit freaked out because it's like what am I going to talk about for the next two weeks because the parks are closed and it's like or you don't have to talk if you don't want to I'm gonna vlog every day because I feel connection to you guys and I like just having that connection I feel like the best thing is try to have as much routine as possible within the realms of our homes <laughs> so I can vlog from home. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about road trips. I'm going to talk about uh, your best Disney vacations. I want to talk about your favorite attraction. But as long as we all, I feel, go down that road of like sticking together on this and trying to stay sane, maybe we'll I'll, I'll actually come out of this unscathed as much as possible, right? Um, so Craig and I took a walk this morning. So many more cars home than normal. Um, Definitely, uh, I think he did a run to Target yesterday for something that we needed, and he said, yeah, I think it's one or the other. Either things are getting quieter and quieter because people are staying home, or things are getting busier and busier because this is kind of ramping up to that peak of, you know, that crescendo of how bad this is going to get, and then we're going to drop off. I am hoping upon, hope upon, praying upon, praying that the more people cancel, the more that things are canceling out. This morning um, in Illinois, the governor said all the restaurants are being shut down until, um, I, I guess there's probably a date on there, but I think everyone's just kind of like, let's all just sit back. And if you don't have to leave the house and you don't have to get out for a job, stay home. Um, I definitely am concerned for Kira's sake. I'm concerned for anyone that has to be um, working in some type of field today because um, you just don't know, especially if it's around a lot of people. Um, I am disappointed. I heard last night there were record crowds at Magic Kingdom because of it being kind of the last hurrah. Of course, I thought about going, guys. And then the common sense kicked in on me and said, why would I want to put myself out there and put myself in that situation? One person coughs in that kind of group. You just spread it. You just spread it. 
and they spread it and they spread it. And I mean, I don't think people realize how many countries come to Disney World, but then they're going to take it home. It's just, it's, I didn't want to be part of the problem. So I just stayed out of it. And um, yeah, I just, yeah, kind of disappointed in just hearing about, about people who um, didn't need to be there, but there, there you go. Um, I think it's just staying sane and, and finding things to do in your home. And for the influencers and bloggers like myself, we can write about lots of fun stuff and share stuff and make really cool videos and just, just try to, you know, um, I don't know, stay busy and stay out of the problem. You know, I think that's the best thing we all can do. Um, I am trying to just um, be creative and I can go running because I'm not around anyone when I run. Craig and I walk and people walking in and out this, you know, thankfully garbage day is still garbage day today. And we're trying to make sure all as much garbage goes out as possible because now with more people home, more garbage is going to be made. And so we want to keep up on that. Um, we have already noticed that our Wi-Fi is slowing down because that was another concern of mine is that there's everybody's going to be home. Everyone's going to be on the Wi-Fi. So it's going to slow down in, in your areas. Um, a friend of mine told me recently that, uh, his uh he's getting unlimited data for free you know up through april um that t-mobile was giving that out that is an awesome thing i think that if we all work together on this we we may actually get through this okay um so yeah that's what's going on here in florida it's um i4 is beautiful <laughs> it's kind of the one thing you can do if you really want to you can get in your car and as long as it's disinfected to you know forever you know uh you feel clean enough for your car you know go take a drive um, obviously that's the situation you don't want to get into a situation where there's accidents or something and now you're, you are forced to be around people. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to stay busy, stay active, stay healthy in the mind. I think the mind is going to be more, much more important. <laughs> I saw a meme last night, the one that said, you know, um, I don't like this Black Mirror episode, meaning the coronavirus, but that's, that's good because I've been watching Black Mirror lately and I'm like, yeah, that's about right. That this this feels like a Black Mirror episode, and we all know those don't end the best. <laughs> so I'm like, gosh, um, yeah, I I there's this is just crazy. It's just crazy. I'm like, okay, what can I binge? <laughs> what can I film? What can what vlogs would be interesting? Um, let me know what you guys want to hear about. You know, um. Yeah, I shouldn't touch my eye, I know. And I have no eye makeup on because I'm one of those people that when I wear eye makeup, sometimes the eyeliner actually does affect my eyes and so I'll touch it. And so then I'm constantly touching what you're not supposed to be doing. So yeah, um, I also was told recently about that sometimes you have to turn up your phones a lot for my volume of my voice. So I will try to not only speak louder and clearer, but I will also look into getting a microphone. Again, I am in the very new stages of YouTube. I've been only doing this about three or four months of really vlogging and talking to you guys. My YouTube channel has been around for quite some time since 2011, but actively been pursued. See, my eye is bothering me. Sorry, guys. Um, actively pursued in the last four to five months. So, um, well, I'm glad I ran Runaway Railway. <laughs> I loved it. I am glad I got on Rise of Resistance one more time. Um, you know, I, I try to just have hope. And like I said, I try to use the word postpone more than cancel with a lot of this stuff. Um, Megacom was supposed to be next month where I had signed up some really awesome photo ops with celebrities. And I'm sure that's going to be canceled. It's towards more the middle of the end of the month. So we'll see. But if the CDC already came out, uh, I believe this morning or last night saying basically um, the groundhog, which uh, eight more weeks of winter, I think we're going to have more eight more weeks of cancellations and staying at home and parks being shut down. And um, the Disney resorts announced overnight and springs that they were closing down uh, springs and resorts. Now, I think certain areas and springs might still stay open because they're not Disney owned. But my thinking on that is to keep out of the crowds. And those were obviously 50 or more people, which is what the CDC says, stay away from. And so why would you want to put yourself in there, number one? But number two, if half of it's going to be shut down, which is what sounds like it's going to happen, which starts tomorrow, um, why would you want to be there? <laughs> like, you know, it's like having, let's say, I don't know, one store that's open 
you know, the Christmas stores open, which it's not, it's Disney owned. So all the Disney ones be shut down, which is basically marketplace. And then basically on the West side, it's kind of those in those outlet stores in the middle that are, are owned by someone else. So I don't know how badly you really need to go, you know, to one of the restaurants or whatever. I just don't think it's, and then that's the other thing I thought about, like we ran through fast food this past weekend. Um, we have this like tradition where Craig and I go get a hash brown and like a Diet Coke and we take a drive. And I was really concerned about getting that hash brown because yes, they wear gloves most of the time, but I've worked fast food and, you know, heaven forbid someone coughs in the restaurant, a worker coughs, you know, so now we can't trust the food that we're ordering. And I know in New York, I believe they just yesterday or this morning just shut down. Um, you can't dine in restaurants in New York anymore. You can only get um, uh, takeout. Well, still, if they do anything to the food by accident, I'm saying not on purpose, you know, they cough in it or something. Now you have that problem. So I just think it's cook at home, stay at home. <laughs> Everything's homebound right now. I hope you got your groceries. Um, when Craig dropped me off from my long run yesterday, he came back around and was driving past Publix and they had a um, semi there and a police car that had to watch them, um, the, you know, putting the food into the store. That's where we're getting to, at least in Florida, that we have police cars who have to security to watch them um, putting toilet paper in the stores. That is bizarre and crazy and scary and wow. So um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on vlogging. I did moving Mondays. Um, you're gonna see me in the same shirt uh, because I wanted to continue with that series. That doesn't affect any of this or this doesn't affect that. So that is done for the day. I just want to do a general one of just, this is what's happening here. Um, you know, it's it's going to get really quiet around areas. Um, I still feel comfortable running and walking. I think for my sanity's sake, I need to. I'm staying away from people, so I think I'm safe on that aspect. You know, could martial law happen? You know, could we be quarantined to our homes? It could be if this really gets out of control. Yes, it could be, and um, I'm prepared for it. Uh, we have a lot of homebodies here already, so this isn't anything new. There's another meme I saw that said, "Oh, so now the introvert, now all the people are asking me, the introvert, you know, what do you do at home? You know, now y'all are interested. You know, I thought that was funny. Um, I think we have to find the humor in all this, right, guys? Because this is gonna get, this is gonna get a little bit scary. And my stomach's crawling. I'm still doing the intermittent fasting. That is, that is a challenge. Let me tell you, as a runner, it's a challenge." I have to eat some type of protein before I run or I'm just running empty, especially. I ran six yesterday and then I walked another four after it. My Excalibur was canceled yesterday, so I thought I'd try to get something of 10 miles in, which I did. Um, they are shipping me the medals and the shirts, which is really kind of them. So I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying healthy and I hope you're all staying sane. <laughs> What our family's trying to do is we all have our personal space during the day. So I have my office and Craig has his office and the girls have their bedrooms and we're all trying to kind of stay away from each other and having our space. And then, you know, for meal time, we can come together or for dinner, especially have dinner together, watch a movie together, have do a board game, but kind of shake up your day. We're working on it. We're moving in a couple months. So we're working on the garage and all that stuff. And try to shake up your day, get out and take a walk if you can, if it's not around people. But I think that's how we all kind of, you know, <laughs> stay sane. So have a good Monday, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.